Hey blessed beauties and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasmine and if you are returning, welcome back. If you're new here, we stay blessed and we stay beautiful. So consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Today, we are going to be moisturizing my locks. So stay tuned on how I do that. So let's go ahead and get into the moisturizing part. Okay. Oh. It's all right, because it's about to get moisturized, okay? I also want to give a huge shout out to Kiana Thomas, 8797. Thank you for your comments, and the color video for my hair is on the way. So I do want to start by saying that this is like two day old moisturized hair, okay? I can already tell y'all I know that my hair needs to be moisturized because my roots are getting to the point where they just feel like they are sticking together. Me coloring my hair changed my hair so drastically like I know y'all can just see like my hair is growing <laughs> so it can compensate for the dyed hair and the last time I dyed my hair, I was a loose natural. And like I said, I had breakage, so this was expected, but this is what my hair is looking like. I like even do this. Give you some hair texture. <laughs> I do kind of like to fluff it out. That's just me. Um, because I just love seeing the volume. A used cocktail jar a DIY cocktail jar and this is what I pretty much put my hair moisturizer in okay you're probably wondering why don't I have a spray bottle it's because moving to a different state is very very much time consuming and when you think to make your own hair moisturizer like I did you just use the closest and the quickest thing that you have instead of running to the store and it was this and you'll understand why when I start putting it on my head. So this hair moisturizer includes natural spring water, natural spring water, natural spring water. You can also use faucet water if you're, you know, you want to just do it unbottled. I used natural vegetable based glycerin, which you can get from Walmart. I used rose water from, I believe it's the heritage store rose water that you can get from Walmart as well. And I also use natural 100% aloe vera water. And all of those things mixed up into this little bottle smells heavenly, but it also penetrates my hair like I've never had before. Okay, it moisturizes. It is just delectable and delightful. And I made it on my own. And it only cost me about, $45, $50 to buy it in bulk. So let's go ahead and let's moisturize. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's not just regular water in here. It has the rose water, it has the glycerin, which is not a oil. It's like this jelly type of stuff and I can't get this open. So buy a spray bottle, save yourself the time and the effort, but everything for the most part like it mixes with the water so good and i just pour a cap full and yes this is messy Ooh. okay Dryzer. we're gonna dip the ends. Well, I'm gonna dip the ends and you are gonna watch me dip it. Ooh. I also forgot to say that I put this in the refrigerator so it can be cool. I learned that from my loctician and it actually does hydrate the hair a lot more because it is the cold water. And my loctician taught me especially about locks that the cold water keeps that moisture in. So 
as a loose natural and like at the beginning of my lock journey i would use a lot of hot water for everything like i'm talking piping hot water to the point where it's like the water you would use on your body like the like the water temperature you would use on your body that's what i was using for my hair and um ow my roots in my hair shaft was like uh-uh don't do that so <laughs> i had to stop doing that and i had to take my loctician i had to take my loctician's advice and start using cold water to moisturize if you do use anything like other than water if you're trying to make your own like lock moisturizer you want to kind of experiment with that i would say test it room temperature and also test it in the um, refrigerator too <clears throat> because you never know your hair may have different effects different temperatures and things like that so what i'm doing now there's a lot of water over here so i'm going to press that into other locks moisture and i'm going to show you the non-moisturized side fully dry it feels okay but it needs a little bit of moisture on it the shrinkage is so real all right and you can see look at the difference moisture in your locks okay moisturized versus completely dried locks i can make a hairstyle out of this <laughs> it kind of is giving like a volumized moisture look that is not <laughs> look has never been seen before <laughs> If you want to use a spray bottle, I recommend a spray bottle. I think I am gonna move my moisturizer into a spray bottle, so it'll be a little bit more even, but I do wanna just give y'all a realistic view of how I've been moisturizing my hair. And I've been using a bottle. <laughs> I've been using a mason jar, okay? I've just been doing my hair like that, and I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. Sometimes you gotta use what you got front. Dip those in. I don't directly put the moisturizer like on my scalp because I don't know if hair porosity confuses y'all. It confuses me a lot. And uh, my hair, <laughs> the water will roll right off of my hair so i have to really be careful with just like pouring you know a bunch of water on my head because it will not moisturize at all it won't soak up the water at all it needs a little bit more tlc when i am moisturizing it i got the left side moisturized i know you see that length and then this side okay big big difference when you have moisture in your hair it's gonna be a little bit heavier but this is what it usually looks like when I moisturize it and sometimes I seal it with castor oil sometimes I won't um, today I'm not gonna seal it with castor oil because I'm getting my hair done in the next two days but <laughs> Trust and believe, moisturizing makes a difference. But this is my hair, how it stays moisturized and avoids being broken and brittle. All right, there you have it. That is how I moisturize my hair throughout the week, every two to three days. And you can see my roots better. You can actually <laughs> see how long my locks are, but you can also just see how much more healthier 
the lock is once it is moisturized and like I said I will be doing a color video on how I dyed my hair and just what I've been experiencing since I have dyed my hair with box hair dye I will get to that video in the meantime check out any of my other videos about locks right up here all right y'all this is me a couple of hours later just showing you what my hair still looks like moisturized it's been moisturized for about five hours now and it's still looking good so I'm super happy and it's a lot like <laughs> more shadier it's not as sunny outside but this is how it looks so if you like it go ahead and tell me what you think down in the comments and also if you have any other hair moisturizing tips lock moisturizing tips please go ahead and drop them down in the comments so other people can learn not just from me but from the community with that being said i hope you all stay blessed and stay beautiful and i will see you on the next video bye y'all